Hello Scorpio and welcome to your mid-March tarot reading. I hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. And I can't stop smiling. Like the energy is really amazing right now. And uh, if you don't feel it yet, uh, buckle up because the threshold between Pisces season and Aries season is so powerful. It's the same as the new year. Um, I am ecstatic. Like the energy in the readings are out of this world and I'm really excited. I was so happy that Scorpio was the next on my list. So thank you. Let's start by picking the energy supporting you right now, Scorpio. I'm hearing solitude. I heard the word solitude. Oh, okay. So we have the nine of swords. So definitely intense. Again, it's weird that I heard the word solitude. I don't know. Have you been feeling a little misunderstood right now? Maybe in your relationship or maybe, I don't know if the word solitude means something to you. Uh, I know a song that I love a lot that is called a Solitude. So I don't know if someone connects with that. But there's definitely a powerful energy when it comes to Nine of Swords. Um, and if you know tarot a little bit, if you're interested in tarot, you can see that on the little quilt uh, sheet here, there's all the little uh, zodiac sign. It's embroidery, like in the thing. It's so weird. And um, I feel like this card is representing like you being connected energetically with so many things and so many people. But again, the word solitude is coming. Like someone is feeling misunderstood in a situation. I don't know where to go from there. Um, I know myself. I know that I will make the right decision. But there is something deeper here. There's definitely something on your mind. Do you miss someone? Are you confused between two energy? The Nine of Swords is not a negative card. I don't believe in negative and positive. This is definitely a reflection of what's happening in your mind because the swords are the brain, the nervous system. So let's dive deeper. We have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So it feels like this is what you're showing the world. This is how you look from the outside, confident in your power. Uh, sexy, beautiful, you know, powerful, in influencing other people, how you're presenting yourself, but in your mind, this is what I'm seeing here, okay? I don't know why I keep hearing the word solitude. This is weird. Tell me what I need to know about Scorpio. Tell me what I need to know about Scorpio. You guys always know how to change the energy. Like that. Like that. I was smiling, being like so crazy at the beginning. And now I'm like, okay, I need to know more. This is not the first time it happens in your reading. The Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands. Okay. What's happening in your mind, Scorpio? There is something that you left in the past. And this, I feel, is so close to another reading I did for you not long ago. Like, I'm going to go look back and I feel like it was practically the same cards that came out. There is unfinished business. In your heart, in your mind, you are not even letting yourself go there because it pains you. And I... I'm literally getting emotional right now. I'm connecting with something really powerful. This is weird. I think that you desperately need to have some type of argument with someone, not because you want it, because you need it to happen. There's a lot of things left unsaid. There is a huge need for communication, a need for honesty, clarity. There is a situation that is messy because it's in the unknown. Maybe it's something that never happened in the real world. I don't know if it's about an online <laughs> relationship. I don't know if it's about you being at a distance with someone. This is deep, it's hurtful, and it's messing up with your mind right now. You could definitely be exhausted, but again, you're not letting 
the world see that. Uh, like I show you with the King of Wands, you are not letting the world see how your thoughts right now are definitely taking over. <sighs> Tell me what I need to hear. For Scorpio, we have the sun. Wow, beautiful. We have like triple sun energy here because we have the little sun um symbolism on this angel's head we have the sun here and we have the sun here okay so it's not that you are looking for happiness you know where your happiness is you know that you can find it within yourself you created some type of beautiful foundation in your life your chosen family the people around you is just great great people but there is something beneath all that, beneath the laughs, the happy moments, the strong foundation. There's like something deep, deep, deep hidden inside you, again, that you're not sharing with many people. It's not taking over necessarily because, again, the sun is like, hey, uh, and temperance, you know, it's like you're okay. You know you're going to be okay. But I feel like it's really hard right now to either say goodbye to someone, to really be clear and be like, this is it. I'm over it. Are you in? Are you out? Is what I'm hearing. There's definitely a lot of confusion. The thing is that it's something that you've been in for a while. It feels like... Uh, Confusion is, is nothing new, is what I'm hearing. This is such a weird, mysterious energy, and I'm all here for it. Tell me more about Scorpio. Tell me more about Scorpio. Hierophant, yeah. This is the most powerful card in the deck, you know? This is a really serious and powerful energy the hierophant is the influencer it's taurus energy i don't know if you're dealing with a taurus but there is love in a situation there is two people highly influencing each other even if i believe they are at a distance right now this is not necessarily someone who is at the center of your life but it's someone who's been um living in your mind ran free and it's the same for them and i know this was the title of your last or you know some one of your videos this is definitely an energy that's connecting with that there's still unfinished business there is still a lot of love in a situation and i think that you're trying to push it away you're trying to swallow the energy and lock it inside and not look at it the thing is that, you know, the Nine of Swords two times with the Five of Wands in the reverse, it's like even if you don't want to look at it, it's here. It's here. And it takes a lot of space. And I think that you might be trying to find a way to release it, find a way to be more at peace with it. I don't know if it's a toxic situation. I don't know if it's an unfair situation. Wow. Tell me more. Oh, okay. So this is a confirmation that there is a huge need for a serious conversation between you and someone. It takes a lot of courage to go through Three of Swords, which in my opinion is the difficult conversation that we have before healing ourselves truly from a heartbreak, an unfair situation, whatever it is. Um, there's something that you really wanted and you might not want this anymore. You don't want to want this is what I'm hearing. Again, it's really complicated energy. It doesn't happen that much in my readings. I feel like it's usually so straightforward and so... Um, in your face but tarot sometimes is mysterious and i feel like this connection that you have with that person is really mysterious 
it's like something that you can't understand, you can't explain it, you could have a lot of shame around, you know, not knowing. Like, why am I feeling this way? Why can't I close this cycle? Why are they always coming back? Why are they pulling me in energetically? Why am I pulling them in energetically? I don't want to want you. I don't want to need you, but I do. It's stronger than me and I don't know how to deal with that so again I feel like when it comes to your day-to-day -day life you're surrounded by great people you feel good working hard making your cash uh you I feel personally like you're doing good but the brain there's something here but you don't know where to start this is confusing energy. I feel like you guys are like, welcome to my life. Welcome to my world, girl. Um, and I'm a rising Scorpio. And I don't even... I am completely confused by this energy. But I think it's nice sometimes that we have to dive deeper and take our time with tarot. It's nice sometimes that it's not so literal. That it's not so in your face. Because this is the type of reading that I can come back to and be like, okay, this is it. This is what I was feeling. Tell me more about Scorpio. I have one here, okay? We have the Emperor in the reverse. So some type of feeling of losing control, having no control over a situation. Um... Again, a feeling of loneliness, a feeling of, is this person going to come in and talk to me? Am I going to make the first move? Is this over? Is this still here? Is the, like, what is the potential? Is there a potential? Like, uh, with the emperor in the reverse, I think that someone is slowly falling out of love with someone that they really, really cared about. Um... It feels, again, like there's an un unfinished cycle, unfinished business, because the Emperor is Aries. Aries is like the first sign of the Zodiac. It's a new beginning for me. We're about to enter Aries season. So this is like, what is blocking you? What shouldn't be coming with you in Pisces season, in, in Aries season that you should be leaving in the past? What is that thing that you should have left in the past but it's still with you. It's still haunting you. You're still having dreams, nightmares about it. What is it? It's holding on to you energetically. It's like it won't let go. It feels like it's part of you. But you definitely want to distance yourself from that, I feel. Again, conflicted energy. I want you, but I don't want to want you. And that is coming out so strong for me. We have the Nine of Cups and the Two of Wands in the reverse. This could have been a situation with a twin flame. It could have been really powerful in the beginning. And things kind of burned out really fast. Uh, fire traction. Like, I can't live without you. You're, you're like the most perfect person for me. You're my wish come true. And then something happened and it never worked. I don't know if it's connected to the pandemic, if it's because like you guys are at a distance, you guys can be opposites also. We have the Aerophant here in the middle. So if you're not dealing with a Taurus, which is your opposite energy, uh, there's, there's definitely something here. Like it's bigger than you. It's so much bigger than you, the energy that is uh, sticking to you. So nine of cups in the reverse, there was someone or something that was kind of your dream and it didn't work. It went the opposite way. And with the two of wands in the reverse, again, I feel like you could have believed that this person was your twin flame, but they could have been a karmic partner or you're maybe asking yourself, is it supposed to feel that way to have a twin flame? Like, why am I so confused and why can't we be together? Or why can't we at least talk and just stop playing games? Because I do believe like there's, there's been periods of silence between the two of you. 
and it, it's always in and out. It's always in and out. And I think, to be honest, Scorpio, most of the time, most of the times you have to walk on eggshells because you don't want to offend this person or you don't know, like, uh, how they truly feel. There's a lot of, like, uncertainty and things left unsaid. And I feel like at the end of the day, you're like, I told you how I felt. I told you my true feelings. And I wish you would do the same. I think that you have a hard time trusting this person. I don't know if they lied to you in the past. If you found out something about them, uh, I think that it's it's been hard for you to trust this connection. Again, I don't feel like it's the connection at the center of your world. It's outside of your day-to-day -day life. Let's start clarifying. Let's start clarifying. Scorpio, Scorpio, we have the Six of Swords and the Six of Cups both in the reverse. So double six energy here. Yeah, I think that this is a confirmation that this could have been a karmic partner. This could have been someone that had to teach you many lessons. You might not know right now what are these lessons. Again, I think that the confusion is real here. It's like, why did I meet you? Why it had to happen this way? I don't understand it and I don't understand why it affects me so much. Um... This is a situation that is not healed properly. If you are not communicating with them, if you are at a distance with them, there is so much things that need to be said. I think that for your own sanity and for this person also, you're going to have to reach out or they're going to have to make a move or something because you're still... You're still energetically connected with each other. There's still a part of you that doesn't want to cut ties completely energetically. Page of Cups and Magician. There's something so beautiful about the two of you. It feels like underneath it all, they have everything you want. And same for them. Like They see you and they're like, wow, my dream life would be with Scorpio. Uh, you're both manifesting healing, a new beginning. You want what's best for you. And with the Page of Cups, there's this childlike energy. Like, can we stop taking ourselves too seriously? And also, that could definitely be that there's going to be a conversation. There's going to be, and I don't know if this is going to be the last conversation. It, it makes me feel emotional to say that. I don't know why that there could be this last conversation to clear the air and help you start fresh with something new or help you be 100% present in, in what is here in front of you right now. Maybe another partner or maybe just looking forward and being like, okay, I finally moved on. I'm finally getting in that 10 of sword energy, releasing this anxiety, this mental weight. Um, you're definitely on the right track when it comes to finding out the truth about someone or something. I think that you're definitely going to realize a lot of things, get a lot of clarity about something. Um, not only you are incredibly intuitive, and I think that right now your connection with your spirituality and with spirits, your guides, whatever it is, you know, whatever is bigger than you and protecting you, guiding you, your connection with that is definitely uh, like on point right now. It feels like you're asking the universe for answers. You've been waiting for clear answers and I think you're about to get it. And again, it could be this person reaching out and telling you, they're letting you go. There's a release happening. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. We have the Nine of Swords a third time. It, it came out in the reverse, though. Like I said, you're releasing this energy. And we have the Queen of Pentacles focusing on what is here 
in front of you right now what matters your stability your home life your love life whatever it is that is close to your heart queen of pentacles is like the ultimate ultimate self-care card self-love self-respect it definitely comes right now in this present moment from releasing this past energy completely you might not want to do it you might fight it it might take a while but you're definitely on the right track um it's okay to be confused it's okay to be confused but you're gonna have to get out of your head a little bit about that and really go with how it feels in the present moment you know, if this person makes you feel sad, make you doubt yourself, make you feel all types of way, you have to really go with that and focus on that. Because if you keep focusing on the, you know, the beautiful times that we had before in the conversation and how much I'm attracted to you physically in this fantasy world and what we could have been, you're dwelling on something that doesn't exist. And Remember that this could be reverse energy. I'm not pointing fingers at you, Scorpio. You know how much I, I love you. Um, we are human beings, <laughs> you know, and we are going through many experiences. It's not easy to release someone that we once really had love for, that we really care about. There's still love here in this situation. And I feel like all your senses are activated when it comes to them. They're so sexy in the way they talk and everything. And it's the same for them. This connection has been unfinished and kind of on hold because you both don't want to let it go. But I think that for your mental health, mind, body, soul, definitely there is a need to release. It's not going to be easy. It might be one of the hardest thing you've ever done, but there's not going to be regret. This I can guarantee you. There's not going to be any regrets when it comes to you cutting ties, letting go, facing these difficult conversations. This is one of the best thing you'll ever do, but it's not going to be easy. Give me a clear message from the universe. Don't try to make this reading fit. Don't get offended if it's not your reading. Um, Scorpio, we need to hear it. Cross watchers, this is not your reading. <laughs> I don't do reading for cross watchers, but I know a lot of people cross watch. This is definitely a personal reading for Scorpio. And it's, it's important for me that people respect that. <sighs> Queen of Pentacles. So this is so clear for me, what feels good in the present moment. What is here in your life right now? That is not just energy. That is not just unfinished business. The people who are actually there showing up. Um, how can you practice self-care more? How can you choose yourself? You know, what you have is beautiful. It's solid. It's important. We have the Ace of Wands. So a new beginning energetically, and we have the two of wands in the reverse, releasing this twin flame or this connection that never became what it was supposed to be or what it could have been. I guess you'll never know. And it's not easy. It's not easy to not know and to be in the unknown. It's unfair. It creates a lot of frustration to not know why something didn't work. Um, and again, I think that you're going to have to ride the wave of uncertainty and open up to this new beginning, which the Ace of Wands is the biggest yes in the tarot. It's probably one of the most powerful energy, in my opinion, much more positive and powerful than the Sun card. This is like, yes, this is it. This is the new beginning you've been waiting for. You need to release this person. This is also... My confirmation as a reader that a lot of people might be connecting to this reading and a lot of people are ready to move on with what's real. There's like something that's been living in your head, some type of fantasy world, and there's on the opposite what's real, what's in front of you and what matters. And you're definitely putting the focus on that. Such a beautiful card. Queen of Pentacles. One of the most beautiful cards in the deck. Powerful. Powerful. So, Scorpio, 
you know how much I love you. Thank you so much for your like, subscribe, and I can't wait to do your April reading. I feel like this is, again, the in-between, the releasing. And I'm sure that the April reading is going to be focused on the Ace of Wands and like how this fresh start will impact you. So take care. I'm sending a huge hug your way and we'll speak really soon, Scorpio. Bye-bye.